All right, first I wanted you sh to show you our new words that we added to the chart. So can you say wait? Wait. Wait is talking about how heavy something is. You might have heard the word wait when you were getting weighed on a scale if you wanted to know how much you weighed. Or you might have heard the word heavy if you're picking something up and you say, oh, this is too heavy, can you help me carry it? And when we're talking about weight, we usually compare it using the words heavier or lighter. Like a feather is lighter than a brick. Then here we have something called a balance. Can you say balance? It's a special type of tool that we can use to compare the weight of something. And if the weight is equal, both of the things, if the weight is the same, they will stay uh, staying in the same spot on both sides. But if one is heavier, it will sink down lower and it will put the lighter one up high. I'm gonna show you a real, uh, not a real balance. I'm gonna show you a balance that I made. Okay, I tried my best to make a balance at my house, a balance scale. So I put this little, um, I forget what it's called. I think it's called a lint roller. You know, when you have fuzzies on your clothes and you have to roll it off. I put that in the middle and then I put a ruler on top and I'm, I tried to put the ruler right in the center, but it's a little bit off. And then I balanced the two teddy bears and these bears, these two counters are the exact same weight. They weigh the same. They're exactly the same. So it can balance straight across because the weight on both sides is equal. But what do you think will happen if I put an extra bear on one side? What's going to happen? Is two bears heavier than one bear? Yeah, two bears together weighs more than one bear by itself. So if this side of the scale gets heavier Gravity is going to pull it down to the ground. It's not equal anymore. It's not balanced. It's too heavy. Let me see if I can do it with my at-home balance. Okay, so they didn't stay on there because like I said, it's not a real balance. But did you see how when I added the other bear, the ruler went down this way and then the bear slid off? because that made it so this side was heavier than this side. This, the two bears together weighed more than one bear all by itself. Okay, let's try another one with cubes. First, I have to get my ruler in the center. Okay, I think that's as close as I'm gonna be able to get it. So it's balancing in the center, and right now the weight on both sides is equal. There's not any weight sitting on here, and there's not any weight sitting on this side. But I have these cubes. So if I put two cubes on this side and one cube over here, what do you think is going to happen? Which side is going to fall? Yeah, the side with two cubes because it's heavier. Let's try it out. Okay, I'm trying to put them in the same spot. And as soon as I let go, it fell to this side, right? I wonder if I could even show you if I could get them to stay. They just slide too much. They're too heavy. Oh, hey, look at that. There's no weight over here, but there's one cube over here. This one, this side has more weight. This cube weighs more than nothing over here. Okay, what if we make two cubes and two cubes? What's gonna happen now? This is so hard for Mrs. Powell. Okay, the weight is the same. Two cubes weighs the same as two cubes. So it's balanced, they're both up in the air. Okay. Now, sometimes things get a little bit tricky. I know if I looked at these bears, can you see them? This bear, it's bigger. This one's just one of the baby bears and this is like the mommy bear. And so a lot of times when we look at things, we think that, oh, this must weigh more because it's bigger. And this must weigh less because it's small. 
And sometimes that is true, like with these bears. They're made of the same material, and this one's bigger, so there's more bear. It's heavier. And this one's lighter. There's less bear. But sometimes when things are made of different materials, even if they're bigger, they don't weigh very much. This is what I was telling you about inside. Just because something's bigger doesn't mean that it's heavier. It doesn't mean that it weighs more. So if we're looking at this, this pool floaty is a lot bigger than this one. But look, this one's full of air. And look how light it is. Even though it's big, it's lighter because on the inside is just air. This one's smaller, but it's heavier. So just like we were talking about with the balance, our friend Maya has a balance to show us. And what do you think is heavier, an apple or a cherry? An apple is heavier. So if she puts it in the balance, the apple goes towards the ball the table towards the ground and the cherry goes up in the air because it's lighter you see but if she puts two apples they are the same and so they sit at the same spot in the balance they sit equally how about a watermelon and an apple what do you think would be heavier there yeah the watermelon is a lot heavier than the apple and so if she tries to put that watermelon on the balance it's gonna make the balance go and sink all the way down, okay? Now, in our guided practice, it's our job to put a circle around the object that's heavier and an X on the object that we think is lighter. Now, we can't actually pick these things up and hold them in our hands and say, this is lighter and this is heavier. We can't do that. So we have to use what we already know. We have to use our knowledge, what we already know to decide. We have to think back to a time that we've held it before or we've seen it before to help us make a decision. Okay, let's start with this one over here. There's a picture of a book and a picture of a magazine. And if you notice, this book has a hard cover on it. So I know that you've seen a hard cover book before. Then there's also a picture of a magazine and we've held magazines in class before too. Now, which do you think would be heavier, the book or the magazine? Yeah, a book is heavier than a magazine. And I'm gonna put an X over here because a magazine is lighter than a book. Good job. Let's talk about this one. There's a picture of a phone, like a cell phone and a picture of a computer. Which one is heavier? I'm going to circle the one that's heavier. The computer is heavier than the phone. Which one is lighter? Yeah, the phone is lighter than the computer. Ooh, how about these things over here? A whole crayon box. Let's see if I have that. No, I don't have my crayon box with me, so we have to use our imagination. A whole crayon box or a crayon, just one crayon. Well, if we think about the box, look how many crayons are inside of there. <gasps> Whoa, we could fit so many crayons inside. So we know if we have a lot of crayons inside the box and we're comparing it to one crayon, which one is going to be heavier? Yeah, a lot of crayons is heavier than one crayon. One crayon is lighter. All right, let's talk about number five. It says, draw a circle around the heavier object, mark an X on the lighter object, or underline the objects if they are the same weight. So if when we put them on the balance, they're gonna stay nice and centered. It's not gonna move because they're the same, we underline them, okay? Let's look at number five. We have two pieces of toast. One looks like plain toast, and this one looks like cinnamon toast. Yum, I love toast. Now, which one do you think is heavier? You're right, they're the same. It's two of the same things. It's like if I said, I have this marker and this marker, which one's heavier? Well, just because this is red doesn't mean it changes the weight, or just because it's blue doesn't mean it changes how much it weighs to hold it, they are the 
same. When something's the same in our math book, we put an underline. How about the whole backpack or one piece of paper? Which one's heavier? The backpack's heavier. Which one's lighter? Mm, the piece of paper is lighter. Okay, so for your challenge, I want you to go around your house and I want you to find two objects. You're going to tell me which one is heavier and which one is lighter. For example, I have my candle and my glasses. And if I was doing a video, I would record myself and I would say, my candle is heavier than my glasses. My glasses are lighter than the candle, okay? You could even be as creative as to say, oh, I have two candles and they are the same. They weigh the same. All right, go get started.